Ooh, look at all the juice, ladies. Delivery day. Donated food rolls into the Yellowknife Women's Center. If they have enough, they provide food hampers for the community. Yes, we're probably going to do about five boxes today. The smell of citrus brings smiles, especially since food donations are down. Like for the month of December, I don't even think we even did a hamper because there wasn't very much food that was coming from food rescue. So yeah, it was pretty tough for the past few months. Yeah, so these shelves is where we uh, store the food before it gets packed to go into a hamper. Operators at food banks are also reporting fewer donations, despite the need growing 36% last year in the three territories. So what we're seeing right now across Canada is the highest level of food bank use ever in Canadian history. There are many reasons donations are not keeping pace with that need. Simply we're out of practice as a country because of the pandemic. We didn't, you know, we weren't doing those regular food drives or if it's simply because purchasing food right now is a stretch for folks. Again, I think it goes to food prices um, as well. Inflation uh, just uh, overall has been tough for people. And uh, yeah, we're, we are definitely concerned about uh, what the future looks like. Okay, they're all the same. Okay, right on. Martha Carew's part-time job doesn't bring in enough money to buy all the food she needs. This hamper gives her room to breathe. I feel so good. At, at least I know I'm gonna have something to eat tonight and tomorrow and the next day. Still, she consciously only picks up one box each month, not more saving them for larger families. The people were just, yeah. Until things improve, food banks and the people who need them will keep doing more with less. Kate Kyle, CBC News, Yellowknife.